What's up everyone? Welcome back. Kara Corey, registered dietitian here. And today I'm gonna make for you a very fudgy, chocolatey, delicious cookie that's gonna be filled with good nutrition and simple ingredients. So for today's video, we are gonna use MTS Whey and I'm going to use the cookies and cream protein. You guys can get that at tigerfitness.com. If you guys don't have cookies and cream on hand, you can absolutely swap out for any other MTS Whey you have on tap. Remember, if you're not using MTS Whey, I cannot guarantee the cookies are gonna turn out the same as I make them because every protein has different ingredients to it. I stick with MTS Nutrition for a reason, kids, because the ingredients are good, they're simple, taste great in a shake, also bake even better. Now the fudginess for this recipe is gonna come from our BFF, the avocado. You guys need to make friends with the avocado. It's so nutritious for us, delicious, creamy, tastes good on anything, but yes, we can also bake with it. So today what we're gonna do is take some very ripe avocados. You want them ripe so that they mash up easily and for taste as well. How do you know if an avocado is ripe? You're just gonna squeeze that baby in the grocery store. Usually when they're a little bit more black looking, they're riper and they should be very soft to touch. That's when you know they're ripe. So you don't need any fancy gadgets when cutting open an avocado. I just slice it with a knife and kind of shimmy it open. And then what I like to do is just take a spoon. I find that to be the easiest and just carve it out. And then I'm just gonna kind of, I'm just gonna carve out the avocado pit here. We don't want that. And we're gonna cut out, we want about a hundred grams of avocado. 113, that's perfect. Before we add any other ingredients, what we're gonna wanna do is mash up our avocado. So I'm just gonna use a spoon and smush it down. All right, once you've got your avocado all mashed up, we're gonna go to our next ingredient, which is gonna be one large egg. And I'm just gonna go ahead and scramble the egg before we add it in there. I just find it easier to make sure we get it all mixed. After you're done scrambling it, just go ahead and add it to your avocado mix and give that a stir. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add our dry ingredients. First, we're gonna add in some cocoa powder and I'm gonna add a half a cup of this. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in the protein. We're using the cookies and cream by MTS Whey. I'm gonna add one and a half scoops. Now we're gonna add some baking powder to make sure our cookies rise a little bit. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon. Also gonna add in some pure vanilla extract and we're gonna add a half a tablespoon of that. Next, I'm gonna just do a few cranks of my Himalayan pink salt. And optional to add a little more sweetness to the cookie, you don't have to. I like it a little bit sweeter, but I am gonna add a fourth a cup of Splenda into this. Now that everything's in there, we're just gonna go ahead and mix it all together. The cocoa powder has a mind of its own and does tend to fly everywhere, so just be careful with that. I am gonna spend a little bit more time mixing it. You can see the consistency is on point, but we do still have a few little pieces of avocado, which is fine, not a deal breaker. You're probably really not gonna taste it with the cookies, but I'm just gonna spend a bit more time mashing it down, making sure everything's evenly mixed in. All right, guys, so now that you've got your mixture all mixed up, we're gonna take a cooking sheet, and I'm just using one of those silicone baking mats because they're really great for cookies. If not, just put some parchment paper down, spray your pan, you name it. We're gonna go ahead and measure out our cookies onto our baking sheet. I prefer using a tablespoon because I don't have an actual cookie scooper. I just find it makes it easier to make uniform size cookies. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop out each tablespoon here. And you might have to use your finger a bit too. I like to leave my cookies a little bit thicker like that, but if you don't want them like that, you can go ahead and push them down a bit. And you are gonna see a little bit of the avocado pieces in there. I don't mind that, but if you think that's gonna bother you, then take a mixer or if you have a KitchenAid, blend this up, it'll blend that avocado right down. This recipe is gonna make for you about 12 cookies, depending on the size. I've got about 11 here because I think I ate too much of the batter. 
But anyways, these are going into the oven 350 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes. All right, guys, I ended up cooking my cookies for a total of eight minutes because I wanted them a little bit on the softer side, but you can tell they stayed nice and thick, basically the same size they were when I put them into the oven, which is how I wanted them, like a little bit chubbier and thicker of a cookie. You can see a little bit of the avocado in there, but I don't mind. With these cookies, you can also add some extra stuff to them if you like. I, I just wanted to keep it basic, but you could absolutely add some chocolate chips to it. You could add nuts, coconut, you name it. But this is gonna be a great staple, basic avocado, chocolatey, fudgy cookie. So I'm gonna give it a taste test now. Mmm. Tastes like a brownie. The inside is nice and soft, very chocolatey. And the outside does get like a little bit crisp to it. So it's got that nice texture variation going on. Super good, macros are great. This is good for you. So I hope you guys give this a try. It's very easy. Don't forget to tag me on the Instagram, Karakori Fit Life and Tiger Fitness if you do happen to try it. And we will see you guys in the next recipe.